Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time in May. You may be watching this in April, so you may think it doesn't resonate. Well, May has not happened yet. So, what do we have for Libra for May? What do we have for Libra? One card, please. What do we have for Libra? Ooh. Caution. I mean, that's caution tape. Usually when there's caution tape, something has happened. Um, you know, I don't know what it is, but caution, beware. Um... Something is up. Something is definitely up. May have something to do with an older man. Just saying. So. Dangerous situation by the looks of things. Um, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but usually when there's caution tape, there's, there could be some danger. You know, behind the tape could be hole. You know, you got to be careful you don't step into the hole. Um, there's something that is that you're going to need to be aware of and be careful. So what do we have for Libra? Could have something to do with the police. Ace of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands reversed is going south. It is um, something not growing, not coming to fruition. Uh, a lack of growth, lack of excitement, something going downhill. Um, I'm going to put it back. I don't know why it came out reversed. It wasn't supposed to be reversed. I'm going to try again. What do we have for Libra? There's something, I mean, that isn't growing or isn't, yeah, it's not growing. There's a lack of growth. Something is going south or it's gone south or uh, it's not happening as you thought it was going to happen. Not, not materializing. Ace of Wands reversed is... Being weighed down, being weighed down. Well, anyway, let's try this again. Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is victory after some sort of hard work. Uh, this is congratulations. So, I do believe there's some, and it's crossing a finish line. Okay, we got somebody here that is crossing a finish line. It hasn't been easy, it's been rough. This is victory after sorrow. This caution is in the past. So I feel like you have been, maybe you've been in a dark place, you've been in a deep hole, you know, you've been in a dangerous situation, maybe that is in the past. This is crossing the finish line. It's over. Yeah, I feel like, I. and there's tape here too. It's interesting because this is tape and this is some sort of tape or ribbon. And, and saying ribbon, tape, it's a, this is like a ribbon, it really is. If you think about caution, it could be ribbon, it could be tape. Um... This is got ribbon and tape. This is cutting, cutting through. You are about to get done with a situation that has been rough. It you, it's been some sort of trial. This is the end. It really is the end. This is crossing. This is congratulations. You made it. You made it. So this is the end of a dangerous situation. You, it, it's taking the tape away. It's cutting through the tape. Victory. So this is, you made it. You did it. Congratulations. You did it. So something is happening where it's the, you know, the battle is over. The five of wands comes before this. The competition is over. This is success. I feel like you were weighed down though. 
You were weighed down something, and maybe it has to do with going south. Um, but now this is it. You did it. You made it. This is success. This is public recognition. Congratulations. This is being recognized. This is... Uh, Yay! You know, that kind of energy. You did it, you did it, you did it. So this is some sort of success that is coming to you for all the hard work that you have done. You're going to be, you're going to be in your glory, put it that way. That dangerous situation or that thing that you were in that was, uh, that you didn't really want to be in is over, you know? New beginnings. Thank you, Lord. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. And that is exactly what is happening. You have a new beginning right around the corner. You are good. This is going to make you very, very, very happy. There's support here. A lot of support. Everybody is going to be looking at you. You're going to be getting a lot of recognition this time where that you have been in that has maybe you were in a dangerous situation or you were in a situation that you were very wary of. That's over. You have nothing to worry about now. You did it. Whatever it is, you did it. You are in at the spotlight. I do believe you're going to be in the spotlight. Everybody is going to be looking at you. They're going to be like, wow. This is a leadership position. So I'm wondering if you are going to be put in a leadership position. This is the end of a dangerous situation and you have a new beginning. You definitely have a new beginning here. Oh. Now, it came out sideways, so that is a challenge. We are going to keep that. I could make it reversed or I could make it upright. Isn't that very interesting? I'm going to make it upright because I feel like you have a new beginning here, okay? This is an exciting new beginning. Yes, you were weighed down. Something did not materialize the way that you thought. Uh, but I think that we have a positive change that is coming, okay? This is exciting. This is an exciting new beginning. This is a, a new spark, a new vision, a new desire. Um, just go for it. This is action being taken, Um a new ambition, a new drive. This is a new spark, a new flame. So this is um, a sudden uh, situation as well. Something happened suddenly. Happening suddenly. This is the, st the starting with a clean slate. You are starting with a clean slate. You're free as well. I, I want to say freedom. This is a new vision. Devil, I don't know, you could be dealing with a Capricorn that has tied you down, that you have been trapped to, or you have been uh, bound to a toxic situation. Maybe you're severing ties. This is toxic. This is unhealthy patterns, unhealthy behaviors, bound to something that doesn't serve you, a need to break free. And it's interesting that I said freedom right before this. Freedom from a toxic situation. You're free. You are free. I believe that you are. Focusing on the future, leaving the past behind. Get prepared for a new beginning. This is a strong desire for a new beginning as well. So I think that you are... You need to just move forward into the future and hope for the best. You expect an arrival. Something is happening. It's something that I feel like you've been waiting for. It's very positive. It is. But this is there is some sort of um, 
toxic something here with this devil card. What is this devil card? Choices, consequences, options. Beware of your choices. Beware. You're probably going to have to make a choice. You, your, your life depends on the choices that you make. You've obviously been in a dark place. And there's consequences. Be careful what you own because what you own owns you. When you get the Seven of Cups, I feel like you're going to be put into a position where you have to make a choice and make sure that you don't let greed or lust or, get, or ego get in the way of making the right choice. Because this is greed, lust, and ego. It really is. So you may be in the spotlight. I think that you're going to be put in the spotlight, but you're going to have to control yourself because sometimes when we get put in the spotlight, our ego can take over. So that is, I mean, people don't want to hear that kind of stuff and nobody does, but that's a, that's a fact. Beware of false beginnings. Beware of your choices. Beware of your ego. Beware of greed. Beware. This is beware. It is beware. I think that you're going to be in the spotlight. I think you're going to be put in a in a position of, uh, you know, recognition. People are going to really be recognizing you, and it may don't let it go to your head is what I'm trying to say. And it all and I'm not saying that it's just Libra. Okay, it can go to any sign's head. Okay, um, you may also have a Capricorn around you or somebody else around you that is toxic. This person is unhealthy. They, they may have a drinking problem. They have a drug problem. They may overdo it. And I think that you need to beware of whoever this person is. I also feel like you have a new beginning that is coming in. Get prepared for an arrival or get prepared for something that is arriving into your life. And uh, focus on that. Focus on the future. Do not focus on the past. Ooh, the two of pentacles reversed is is uh unbalanced it's it's overcommitted it's a need to reprioritize so i do believe that you are going to need to re reprioritize your choices your decisions your options probably your life i feel as though you have been attached to something that maybe it was fantasy because this is an attachment this is fantasy it is illusion you probably have to and maybe you've been over committed to this illusion or this fantasy or this attachment because this is an over commitment i feel like you you're gonna need to reprioritize your future and you know what you want in your life I think you're going to be making a difficult choice this month. And I feel like this choice has to do with a new position that you are put in. I feel like you've been juggling some changes. You know, you've been adapting over time to something. And now it's time for the major change. Okay, now it's time for something to, something's going to happen that... that puts you in a place where you have to make a choice. I feel like you have to make this choice very suddenly. It's because it's, this is a very sudden energy. I feel like so you're going to have to make a sudden sudden decision that you probably were didn't see coming and it may cause a little bit of chaos at the moment. And it's going to cause chaos. It could happen very fast when you're put into a position where you may have to detach from something um, that is unhealthy. And focus on something new. You definitely have new beginnings here. And I feel like it's very, very exciting. I feel like um, this will require you to reprioritize your happenings, your choices, your options, your life. Your life. You're going to have to reprioritize. You may have to reprioritize your attachments. You know, whatever it is that you're attached to. I do think you're going to be breaking free from some sort of, 
I don't know if it's toxic people or or toxic behaviors or something like that. You may have to let something go. Maybe you have to let something because I feel like you're, this may be a little bit overwhelming for you because I think this is a massive change or massive recognition or a massive repositioning of some sort. You're obviously leaving something behind that may have been an illusion or may have been toxic to you. Page of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there's been some sort of blockage or there is a blockage that is standing in the way of achieving your goals. You probably have a lot of things on your plate because it, trying to do too much is that Seven of Cups. And it, that could be because of the public recognition that you're getting. You may try to do too much. You know, may, you may try to live up to somebody's expectations. That's You shouldn't have to do that. Anyhow, I do believe that you're going to be experiencing a realignment, okay? You're going to be experiencing a change, and I think it's a very positive change. It is very positive. I think you're going to be put in the spotlight of some sort, and I feel like this is unplanned. I think you didn't plan it coming. I think that you're going to need to focus. I think you could be easily distracted by this change, or it could, i got to be honest, it could go to your head. Ego could get in the way. I feel like, um, I don't know, with the Page of Pentacles reversed, that's some sort of uh, blockage or dead end of some sort. It is uh, not following through. Somebody not following through with something. That is laziness and complacency. I don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you need to leave behind because it's behind you with that three of wands. I feel like you've been going back and forth with somebody and maybe you need to choose based on, you know, your value because the page of pentacles is about value this one is reversed maybe you start to see your value and you stop engaging with this person or you've learned some sort of lesson i do see victory after sorrow uh this is this is uh gaining some crossing a finish line gaining some success you have a get prepared for a new beginning that you probably didn't see coming. I think there's going to be a sudden realignment or a sudden change. You are you have dealt with somebody in the past that is very unhealthy. This person has been blocking your success, but I think that you are in a different place now. You may have been overcommitted to uh holding on to this person but i feel like you're you're now you're focusing on the future you are you're you're broadening your horizons and you're opening up to something Queen of Pentacles. Now this is, uh, the Queen of Pentacles is very motherly, very, this is a hard worker, somebody that is loyal, devoted, uh, generous, capable, abundant, uh, down to earth. Somebody has something for you. This is somebody of value. And this is about your value. The Queen of Pentacles is about value. It is the Queen of Value. I do believe that you are going to see an increase in value. You may even see an increase in money. Some of you are going to be choosing another option. This is, this is something of value. And I think that you are going to be connecting with somebody that uh, has a lot to offer you. I do see an increase of value here. You may be even, well, I do see that you're going to be put into an, a position of authority. Some of you may be even moving. I do see moving here. Um, it's definitely a fertile time. It is a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. I think that there's some tender love and care here or nurturing that is coming your way. 
there's a growth uh, in abundance okay there's an abundance of growth put it that way growth of abundance that's what it is I think that uh, maybe there's even an increase in pay an increase in money for some of you um, choosing another option that is going to bring you prosperity you are there is something here that is very prosperous for you and there's a lot of attraction to it i feel like you are going to be crossing a line you are you're going to be crossing a line that you were reluctant to cross You're going to be reprioritizing your value and, and headed towards a new beginning that could last. Okay, this is it. You're breaking free from something that is toxic and unhealthy and you are headed towards something that where you're going to be recognized and, and almost like put on a pedestal. I feel like you're going to be put on a pedestal by somebody. I do see a strong, for some of you, a strong sexual connection here. With the Ace of Wands next to the Devil, we have a strong sexual connection here. It feels like it's with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like I feel like you are going to have a new beginning with this person. I feel like there is something that has been blocking either you or this person from connecting, but I think the blockage is being removed. Somebody is going to be reprioritizing their life and they're going to be headed in a new direction. And that is no joke. I think there's been some sort of lack of clarity, but I and I don't have any swords cards here. I think there's been a lack of clarity, but somebody's getting this strong desire or this new vision or they just, you know, decide to go. This is I got to go. It's like cuz action is being taken. So anyway, get prepared for a uh A new adventure. Good luck.